Now I don't have a business degree, okay, but this doesn't necessarily make sense to me. We are in the middle of nowhere. Isle of Liu is a wild part of the world and more than a hundred of people queue up here for this little street food place. And I would say for good reason, because the food experience coupled with the surroundings, it's just life changing. Staying in a cottage just now, there's nothing around me. I'm heading uh, to Harris. Harris is the southern part of this of this island, famous for some stunning, like Caribbean-looking beaches. Apparently, there's a seafood truck at some point, somewhere in this island, in the middle of nowhere. I'm not even sure if Google Maps is showing me the right position, but there's just one road encircling the island. So I'm just gonna try to see if I can find this place. It's a small seafood truck, and this guy is called Sam, and he sells on the street. Like Entire beach. I can't believe we're in Scotland. Fine sand beach, crystal clear water. I think this place can rival Italy, the Caribbean. Stunning. Okay, it's almost midday. I think it's time to go and find out whether I can find this place. The problem is that the address might not necessarily be updated because Google Maps shows one address and TripAdvisor shows a different address. Is this the place I'm looking for? Like, this is crazy. This is in the middle of nowhere, guys. Um, yeah, there is a street food stall there. Let's get closer and see what's going on here. There's not a large queue, which is surprising because I was reading a lot about large queues. Okay, fresh lobsters today, guys. Is, is this thing on the menu? No, but I can okay. do you a lobster sandwich or something like that. Yeah, so yeah, yeah. I'll, I'll get the lobsters. Um, yeah, no problem. That's outside of the menu, guys, um, but I'm gonna have it. So I think I'm gonna have all the items in the menu local herring, fish guillons, pan fried egg with lemon butter, lobster. I. I am ready for this. The smell of the grilled fish is already reaching my nostrils. So yeah, the queue normally starts at 11, so I'm being very lucky today and I feel blessed, honestly. Like, look at this place. Saying that I am excited is an understatement. Okay, these guys are fish bouillon. I'm not sure what kind of fish, I suppose it's hot dog inside. They look so crispy. fish inside it's so meaty very flaky just just pure and simple fried hot dog oh my god this sauce is so amazing
so fresh and there's a hint of mint inside and this is a mixture of uh, red and yellow peppers chunky nugget of fish give me some peppers Try the crab sandwich. Mm. Chunky piece of crab. There is some salad in there, like tomato, cucumber. There is also some ginger. There is a sauce. I think it's. A I think it's tzatziki sauce. Okay, let's go on to the next thing. Uh, so this is, you don't know what this is, a big chunky slice of meaty fish, grilled fish, some potatoes, uh, again ginger and broccoli, broccoli with a lot of black pepper. Okay, let's try the potato then. Got some, some of the fish and the broccoli. Mm. The char flavor. This fish, I, I, I don't remember what it is. I've read on the menu, but I don't remember what it is. Mm. This fish is so juicy, so moist and part of the juice is sort of mixing with the juice coming from the ginger and the potatoes oh, the, f the flavors are insane the broccoli in there they go so well with the fish it's been grilled to perfection the char on top has made kind of crusty but then it remains so flaky and soft inside Oh yes, these are the fresh scallops. Look how beauty. Irresistible, bouncy texture of the scallops. Give me some tomato with that. Mm. Uh, again, um, the sauce, just still don't know what uh, it's got inside. I just know it's so refreshing. It tastes so, so minty. Let's put some radish on top. Uh, sorry, ginger. Mm -hmm. I think this was goes really well. Oh wait, there's another box. Oh, this is pure happiness, guys. I. Them, if you're watching this, I think I figured it out why you decided to park yourself here in the middle of a Scottish desert. I think you're trying to escape humans and maybe get closer to the nature, which I can't really blame you. 